I was really, really hoping to learn your secret of how you made dollars <laughs> so young. Um, because I, too, have earned a million dollars in experience, but not a million dollars in money. Uh, I want to tell you, you used a story. That was the focus of this project, using a story as a speech or a story within a speech. And using a personal story the way you did, but that was very effective, and you, you weaved your speech at the flow went very well. You had me engaged right away, and this was a cautionary tale about how get-rich-quick schemes can cost us. So when you threw the humor in at the very end about it being about an exotic accent, I literally laughed out loud. That was, that was a great twist and a great way to end that speech, that cautionary tale. Do you, um, even with your exotic accent, I understood your words, you're very easy to understand, your tone, your speech, your volume, were pretty consistent throughout. So that's what I would recommend you work on. Uh, my suggestion would be on a speech like this to practice at home, like you're having to talk over a loud engine and you, you really have to yell and project to get anybody to hear you. And then and also practice like you're in a library and you have to be quiet or you get yelled at by the librarian. And then combine those two because you've got elements in a story like this where exaggerated volume is appropriate and also quiet and more personal tone is appropriate. Intermix those in your next speech really well. You appear very comfortable in front of the audience, which is sometimes hard to do. I thought you did exactly very well there. Overall, fabulous job. And and really, your, your accent, I know you, your speech, you talked about that, but sometimes I don't even hear an accent. You're doing really well at using the English language uh, and using words correctly and your grammar is exemplary. So great job.